Right, so like me, do you sometimes feel like time's catching up? Yes, it is quickly, but we're gonna show you today how you're gonna have a little cheat code to stop time catching you. Now, when I watch most senior golfers hit the ball, the first thing they moan at is they've not got that flexibility anymore. So what you tend to see as a golf swing is it's short, there's not a lot of dynamic movement in there. And we can see on Trackman, 78 mile an hour club head speed, 153 carries. So that one's kind of gone out quite nicely. But what you tend to see with most golfers is they're not able with that short swing to generate any speed. So two ways that you're gonna get a lot more speed by being more dynamic but without having to spend any time in the gym. I know what you're thinking. You like that, because I do too. So, first thing we tend to know, it's in the backswing with, and I say senior golfers, but it doesn't have to be senior golfers. It can just be anybody who doesn't feel flexibility is their strength. Is that when they swing back, the feet stay very planted, the hips are very restricted, shoulders can't turn, and therefore they can only get so far back. So in order to create more length in the backswing, I want you to feel that the lead heel is gonna come off the floor and we let that trail leg straighten. So we can see a huge turn, big hip turn. And go back over the years, you know, Jack Nicklaus did it. There's lots of golfers allow that lead heel to come off the floor, which creates more length in the backswing. So we're just gonna do that to begin with. And straight away that feels quicker. Obviously the proof is in the pudding, so we're gonna get the heel up, straighten that trail leg. And straight away we see a jump from 78 mile an hour to 84 mile an hour and carry distance jumps up to 166. Now, before you comment below, because I can feel them coming already, some of you won't be swinging at 78 to begin with. I get that. It's about increasing your mobility, your range of motion, so that we can increase that club head speed. But we can see straight away, just because the club's got longer to travel, gravity's helping but it's creating more speed and more distance. So you're obviously gonna hit a few shots and get, try and feel that that's comfortable. And even the ones that you don't quite get like that, still 85 mile an hour, 115 ball speed, and 174 carry. Now, that's just backswing. What if I told you there's potentially even more in the locker. Comment below if you're excited about that. So what we're gonna feel is from that position, you start your downswing by slamming that heel as hard as you can into the ground. And as you're coming into impact, straighten that lead leg. And don't worry about, are you moving up and down? Please don't worry about that. You might miss it a couple to begin with, but you have to allow yourself to make that move. So it's heel up, straighten the trail leg, heel down, straighten the lead leg. And it's almost like it's that whip effect, that catapult effect through the bottom gets this moving faster. Right, so my body is as old as it's ever been, and probably as least mobile as it's ever been at the moment, but let's see how that works. So just picked it a little bit clean, but 86 mile an hour. Ball speed wasn't quite there at 113, but still 172 carry. Can you feel it coming? I don't know what's gonna get there quicker, Project 300 with driver or 50 years of age. Don't comment below on that one. Okay, so big turn, slam that heel down. Let that leg straighten. Again, a little bit clean. Seeing a bit more speed there, though, at 87 on 58. 
Now, I want you in practice to feel exaggerated. You might feel initially that you can't take that to the golf course, but if you are a golfer who's been swinging like that, and you suddenly go to the golf course moving like that, your playing partners are going to know what you've been up to. Feel free to share the video. So we're going to get there. That's really, backswing feels really easy for me. Just need to slam that heel down. That's the one. 86 mile an hour club head speed, 117 ball speed, out the middle of the club, 173 carry, and it definitely is one of those that just, just because you're getting older doesn't mean you have to get slower. If you want to be one of those golfers who is happy being very stable as a golfer, you might be happy getting around the golf course hitting it like that. We can see though, drop off in club head speed is huge. Ball speed drop off's massive. And most importantly, 30 yards back. Now I know you might say, I don't hit seven iron 142. That's okay. If you're 110, that extra 20, 30 yards for you becomes life changing, not just game changing, but allow yourself even if it's just a practice swing to begin with. To really feel that movement. And please don't let your playing partners tell you that more speed means less control. What it means is you've not practiced at that speed. Now, I mentioned this a bit on videos and definitely in face-to-face -face coaching. Practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes permanent. Perfect practice makes perfect. Just rewind and watch that again if you didn't hear that first time. But if you can practice that movement, get the body bigger range of motion, get the club accelerating more, you can stand up there and feel like you give it an absolute rip. And once you start hitting it past your mates, it becomes a whole lot more fun.